Do you think that I can beat one level of each difficulty starting from an easy demon and going all the way up to extreme demon in just 150 lives? So we're gonna start from easy, go normal, hard, harder, insane, easy, and then medium, hard, insane, extreme demon. We're gonna try to do that in 150 lives in platformer mode. However, if I do get a coin, I do get a one up. So those are gonna help me. The first few levels should be pretty easy. And the way we're gonna pick the levels is we're just gonna choose the most newly rated level of that difficulty. So the newest easy level is Starlight City by Flexer. Let's go. Choose your device mobile PC. PC, oh, that's cool, dude. Fully animated pixel art. That is ridiculously cool. This is awesome already. Hello, kitty cat. <coughs> yeah, you look like someone that could help me out. That's grumpy cat. Okay, we're going down a street. Wow, this is cool, dude. By the way, my name is Winston. The shop is right there. We only got one problem. Door is locked. We need to find the key. Well, obviously it's up here. Did I just break in? I broke into someone's house. I know this apartment. It belongs to the guy who was running the repair shop. I believe he kept the key in that safe over there, but we need a code to open it. I know a stray cat that steals food from here. Maybe he knows the code. Let's brute force it, baby. Ease the cat. Give me the code, cat. Hey, Churchill, do you know the code for the safe in the repair shop owner's apartment? Yeah, let me guess. You want to steal again, Winston? It's bread cat. Wow. What a level to get for the first one. Can we help you with something in exchange? Oh, boy. Here we go. Help me get rid of that damn toast around my neck. I will tell you the code. Um, I don't have arms. I'm just a cube. Oh, dude, there's a katana. <laughs> Seems a little dangerous. Yeah, we got you a katana, kitty cat. You're going to use that somehow. Code 0208. Okay, we got the silver coin. Oh no, we get the key for the silver coin. Okay. Okay, we go to the repair shop. There's the silver coin. You had a lot of fun with me. Oh, is that is that it? Is that mission complete? I hope you, we can do that again someday. See you around. Yeah, no problem. We did it. We stole stuff. And that's it. That's cool. I mean, that's a cute little level. All right. Do we get a coin? <laughs> and you do get the coin. Nice. So we're at 151 lives. So the newest normal level is one called Nature Journey by Girly L. Cool. I'm ready for a bit of a nature journey. I like nature. We're swimming. Oh, it looks beautiful. Of course, it's a girly A level. Of course, it looks beautiful. Pick up wood to build the stairs. By the way, if you guys haven't, you should check out girly L's channel. She's also like a banger player at the game. So, um, and makes incredible levels. All right, got an axe. Cool. Oh, dude, this is awesome. We got like a tree house and stuff. Man, I can I live here? Can I live somewhere open like this? A hanging swing chair? Yes, sign me up. I would love to live here. Oh, we built this. Uh, we built like the ladder up with that. That's awesome. We are going on a nature journey. Oh, dude, taking a dash orb to go to a tree house. Sign me up for that as well. Holy. Oh, 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 oh. Those could lead to coins. Oh, there's a lot of these little fairies. Get the yellow orb in the tree house. All right, we're getting the yellow orb in the tree house. Let's go. What is up here? We, we can use it. Nice. So this is where we unlock the yellow orb. Nice. We get the yellow orb in a chest. Dude, this level is so sick. Platformer levels have come a long way. I haven't been playing that many lately, but dude, they've come a long way. This is awesome. Put the yellow orb in. That is one epic yellow orb. Oh, uh-oh. I need the ax again. Chop, chop, chop. Let's go. Where's our nature adventure taking us next? Oh, that's the exit. Dude, am I going to die if I fall down there? I might. No, yeah. I don't think I want to explore just in case I can die. I don't think you can die, though. Dude, that's an awesome level. That's banger. That's such, like, cute little d d nature world. Like, you're jumping on tree houses and you're making your own platforms, cutting wood. Oh, that's such a good level. And then we turned into a fairy, too. Nice. To be continued. That's cool. So the newest rated four moon level, I almost said four star level, is one called Weird Arcade. Here we go. Dude, it plays like it's an arcade. All right, we're playing an arcade game here. Let's go. Because we don't want to die. Okay, it's like an arcade version of... um. Oh, no. You went and did it. It was a trick. You weren't supposed to do that. This is giving me um, how to platformer vibes, but in like easy arcade form. All right, this is, this is neat. So that's the key to get out. And that other key is not a friend. Oh no, it would be, it'd probably be the key for this part, which would be an optional way. Okay, whatever. I probably, I probably missed like an optional ending or something, but that doesn't matter. Or maybe, maybe not. Oh, stop seeking for anything. There is nothing interesting in your actions can break everything I've done. Whoa, dude. Okay, so I was looking for like something extra and the arcade machine just started giving me, uh, give me a little bit of hassle for it. Arcade machine is scary. I like it how the buttons press when you press the button. That's, that's so cool. 
useful little effect. Is it over? GG. Okay, I did it. And I lost a life though. Back down to 150. That was a cool little level. I feel like I kind of want to go back and explore that a little bit more. Newest rated five stars called Star Plaza by Arker Meta. Okay, Star Plaza. I'm pretty sure we're low grav. Yes. Oh, so this is pretty tough. Okay, this is it's very cool. <gasps> I think you just buffer it. Oh my God, just buffer it. Okay, okay, okay. I probably made the first room way more complicated than it had to be. But anyways, we're starting to lose lives now. Oh shoot, dude. Take the path of least resistance. Like if you just, just hold down the button and buffer when you can with this level, I'm pretty sure. You hit it twice. Yeah, oh, you can just go through there. Oh, but now what? Because if I jump and hit this, oh, it bounces you back down. Cause I guess it's a double. Dude, I'm gonna die like 10 lives at this level. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. I should have given myself more lives. Okay. Oh wait, I know what I gotta do. I gotta go all the way over and then hit it. Oh man, I gotta use my brain more, dude. I'm being kind of a dumb idiot, aren't I? I did it. Dude, what's the damage of the lives? So my successful attempt was attempt number nine. So I died eight lives We're at 142. Ooh, I didn't think I'd be dying to the five star level like that though. Hey, the newest rated six moon level, I should be saying, is Hydro Ruins. Hydro Ruins, nice, Sonic style. I'm digging it, dude. Sonic style platformer level with rings and everything. Okay. Yeah, we need the bubbles of air. This is from Sonic 2, isn't it? I need air from this, otherwise I'm gonna die, right? It's gonna go like dun 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 Absolutely. I played I played my fair share of Sonic games back in the day, man. I get it. I'm probably not gonna be going for all these rings because oh nice, dude! It's got that like intensity of Sonic levels too. With like the really fast paced uh slopes and stuff. Oh dude, that's so good! Perfect. And that's the thing with Sonic levels is if you're really good at the game and like you know what you're doing, then you can make all these really incredible jumps. And then if you don't, you usually fall like the bottom of the level and uh, then like you don't get as many rings or secrets or whatever. I haven't died at all yet. Compared to the previous level, I think that's maybe a little bit easier. Oh, oh yeah, we're at a boss fight though. Bubble bots. In Sonic, you just jump on their head, jump into the boss to attack. Oh, you jump, you just jump into the boss, okay. Boom, got him. You don't actually have to worry about getting hit by the boss, just the projectiles that are coming for you. Let's get him. Boom, okay, we crushed him. We just gotta get his little pal. Bam, you guys are done, wow. I did it, yay, we get the Sonic ending where it spins around. Nice, not Sonic, got through act one. Act two, what? Whoa, dude, you're giving me act two also? I, I, you know, I had a feeling it was just gonna end at act one, but we get act two. Oh, shoot, man. Here we go. Spin me on the spinner, woohoo! The speed, the intensity, they just nailed it. It's such a good level. It's been a while since I've played Sonic 2, any Sonic game for that matter, and this is just so nice. It's so nostalgic, dude. This is why I like doing this challenge, because there's so many good platformer levels out. I wish platformer levels had a little more popularity to them, because this is incredibly fun. Robotnik, I got you. Oh yeah, we gotta, we gotta use the blasts. Boom, got him, yeah, we gotta use the blasts. Get over here, whoa! I lost two rings, but it's just two rings, you know? I'm not that worried, I have 235 rings. Not that worried, ah! But don't be wasting them willy-nilly, boy. Okay, destroyed. That was cool, dude. Hey, did we get a coin? Yeah, we got one coin, nice. That'll help us out. Sick, dude! What an incredible level. Okay, so we get one life. We're at 143 lives. Now we're on to the seven moon. The newest rated seven moon level is Adventure Tower by Toad24. We're adventuring. Floor of the dungeon. That was a hard jump. So this is, is this like an entire like Metroidvania or something? You can defeat enemies by jumping on their heads. That's nice to know. Dude, I like it how we start with a double jump. That is awesome. Level completed. Oh, so this is like a hub area. And in the hub area, we go through various levels. And I think we have to complete them all probably to like uh, unlock the next part. The level's getting a little bit harder, but it's it's nothing we can't handle. Slow and steady wins the race. The exit is on the third floor. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be going through these sections or not. I imagine so. I imagine we had to do like the first two levels to be able to unlock that because there are like two little buttons on the door. Collect the three keys. Yeah, oh, so I needed the three keys from the previous three levels. You unlock this level. 
Dude, I like the progression on this. This is really fun. It feels like I'm playing like an entire game, right? Wall jump practice. Oh boy. Watch out, sticky. Yeah, watch out for the sticky cheese. You don't want to be stuck in there. Oh, that's, oh, the sticky cheese. It actually gets you stuck. Like the stuff you can wall jump on. It actually makes it so you can't jump as high. Whew. Okay, there we go. At least the, the wall jumping here, the walls are a little closer. So it's a little bit easier. In the tutorial that were pretty far away. Ah, I'm so bad. I was just trying to go too fast, dude. I can't believe I hit that spike. No way. Or can you do a double jump after you jump off the monster's head? Like, can you like kind of combo it? Does it reset your double jump? Because like some games do that, you know, I almost died there. Oh my God. Yeah, actually you can, okay. Oh, and I wonder if there's secrets. Like if you jumped off the screen over there, you get a secret or something. Okay, so we did these three levels. Next section. Oh, uh, the ice is very slippery. Yes, I know. But when you go on it first, you like, it's so slow. Oh my God, no. I'm gonna die so many lives to this section. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, yeah, so, okay, so touching these is death. You cannot kill those guys. Oh, even, even the hub area is getting a little dangerous now. Well, my quest for all the coins has failed because in the ice section, it has been quite ridiculously hard to do so. Oh, dude, oh, I almost died. Oh. Okay, I did it, I'm at the end. Collect the nine diamonds. I didn't find any diamonds. Beat the level in hardcore mode was probably like one death and you're out. It's 60,000 points. I didn't even get 60,000 points. I collected so many coins. Oh shoot. So I just bled lives basically. All right, that's great level. I only died seven lives, not so bad. Brings us down to 136 lives. Okay, so we're already on insane rated levels now. So the newest eight, uh, eight moon level is see the level below. Are we gonna be descending? Oh, that's trippy. Oh, I'm so dead. It's so trippy looking. Like it's cool. That's, I knew it. I'm going to die so many lives to this because I'm not sure. Like the background stuff, I'm not sure when it's going to get me. Like what's going to kill me and what can't. And oh, I changed. Oh, that's very topsy-turvy. I don't think I need that other checkpoint. Oh my God, that stuff. How am I going to get by that stuff? Well, I guess there is time for you to go over. Like those things go up there and then you got to jump over top of them. But it is kind of an odd timing, isn't it? There we go. Was I supposed to be down here? Un absolutely unclear. The stuff, the like the big, the big spikes that can get you. I got lots of bombs. Bomb? Oh yeah. I should get out of the way. 60 seconds to get in there. Oh, oh dude, I gotta do something. I gotta do something. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I only have 60 seconds or something. I got a diamond. Was Am I supposed to get the diamonds? It says touch here. Oh yeah, I got the diamond to unlock this. Okay, I got you, I got you. Let's go fast, let's go fast, let's go fast. I got a gem. The gem's gonna unlock something too. That was insane. Okay. I did it. This part is seems really difficult for me for some reason. Oh, getting out was really easy though. We put this gem here and we're at the last spot. Okay, robot. Robot should be chill. Oh yeah, robot is very relaxing. Yeah. Just a lot of experience, you know, the robot game mode. That's cool. So this is like our escape pod out of here. Dude, I only have like a few seconds left. Holy, I, I thought we were done and I didn't jump to the boot. That could have that could have been death. Uh, let's go. Go to see the level below. That's the name of the le level. Is go see the level below and leave a nice comment. All right. This is what I'd call like some abstract art and geometry dash, you know? That was cool though. Only died three lives to it. All right. The newest rated nine moon is one called Claustrophobia by Johanoha. Claustrophobia. Disabled the death effect? Nah, dude. I'm not even going to be dying. How would I disable the death effect? There's a key there, isn't there? There's another key up there. Oh, we changed into the ball and we got this key. Okay, it's like puzzle solving. Oh, beware, warning of spikes. Oh, I see. That's what, ah! Oh, a ghost is coming. What? What a ghost is coming. What, 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 what? What is danger, danger? What, okay, I'm going the non-danger way. A ghost is coming. Don't target me. Don't target me. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my God, it's a boo. It's a, it's a Mario boo. What? No! How did you get in here? So, oh, this is a safe zone. Oh my God. Dude, this is intense. <laughs> oh, this is so intense. So it's like a horror game. The, oh, the ghost is gone. You are safe. Oof, oof, I almost died there. Wow. Checkpoint. That's good. The king is coming. Wait, wait, what? Spikes are, they're poking my butt cheeks faster this time. Okay. I, I had to get both those keys. Um, I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Oh my god. I'm not safe. I'm not safe. I know I'm not safe. I know. But what the hell, what? Okay, so you gotta yeah, yeah, you go up the wall there. I didn't quite read that properly because I didn't know I was gonna be switching. 
Holy dude, he's coming. Door's locked. What? Is that a spam? Oh! Okay, safe zone. Safe zone, safe zone. Yes. Leave. You found the exit. I don't think I've played like quite an intense level like this in platformer mode. There's something chasing you. Although there was that one level a long time ago that came out. It did have that like monster thing chasing you. Oh, I only got two out of three of the gems. Too bad. Okay, yo, let's go. What a level. That was awesome. Yo, that's awesome. I died only six lives. Not bad. We're at 127. However, now we move on to demons. So the newest rated platformer demon level is one called Speedrun Temple. Oh my God, I'm so dead. It says it's less than a minute long, but I bet it's just a crazy speed run that's really hard to do. Oh no, I'm so dead. Should I practice it? Because I can practice it. And then like, if I practice those lives count towards my time. Okay, let's just go, whatever. Oh my, just an easy demon. How hard can it be? I'm a demon slayer. We just want to go slow. Instead of practicing, we just want to go slow through here. And then uh, like, hopefully we can just get it. Oh yeah, that's dumb of me. Okay. What, 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 what did that connected with the pad? Are you kidding me? Yeah, you got to jump way in the air. Okay. Get all these keys. Easy peasy. And oh yeah, let's go up top. That was hard. Holy shoot, dude. Oh no, I missed the key! There's a key up there and you can't get back up? Are you kidding me? Okay, oh my God, we're doing it, we're doing it. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm kind of slow, that was a bit slow. Oh, I did it, I did it. I thought the switch was gonna open the gate. <laughs> you gotta hit it 20 times. Oh my God. Is there more? Stop timer. Okay. Got it. 20 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Oh, I get an extra life at least. Oh my God, dude. It wasn't that hard. I just had to take my time with it. Oh, I only died nine lives. And then plus one for the coin is uh, eight. So I'm only minus eight. We're at 119 lives left. Could have been worse. So the newest rated medium demon is don't steal my moons. I paused that. Practice mode, sadly not available. That's okay. I like that. Okay. So this is my moon. That's the end of the level. Man, the uh, cartoon style is really nice here. Ah! I stole the moon. And so you're angry. And so now I'm in this game. Oh no. I need to prove my, I need to prove myself. That's what I, whoa. Oh, that's scary. The knives. Oh, it keeps on swapping though. Oh boy. And then I'm going back to the, oh. Keeps on swapping levels, but then it comes back to like the previous level you'd stopped on. I wonder if it's a time-based thing. Maybe you just have a certain amount of time. Yeah, you have a certain amount of time in like each section. That's crazy. It switches parts of the level every time you're on a timer on the bottom of the screen. You just get like a tiny little moment. So it's important to not like get too far ahead, right? Of one or the other. Like, I guess like because you don't want to. Oh, the timing was way off. Okay, we got some slopes. Slopes, no! I'm gonna start and I might die when I start there. I'm not sure. Just wait here. Because you don't want to put yourself in a precarious position. You want to, like, be on a nice platform. Oh, boy. Meow. Oh, what's that? That was different. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing things now. Oh, boy. This is so hard to time. No, you stupid saw blade! The timer, it just makes you feel like you gotta go faster than you actually do, but you don't. It's such a cool concept for a level. Man, I'm, I'm totally digging this. This is so sick. Oh, I got to the power. Oh yeah, I see. So I got to the checkpoint in one section. Now it's just gonna switch between like two of the sections. So we're like breaking them down like part by part. That's so cool. Boom, okay, we smashed it in the third section now. No, you steal the knife! Yeah. This section is by far the hardest. Not even close. Hello guys, okay, we did it. Oh man, <laughs> that knife section. Oh, that was cool. Is there gonna be something else? We broke out of the arcade cabinet, whatever it is, it's not it. It's pretty clear to read what to do here. Just hold to the right, like don't stop. Oh, I did it, I did it. Okay, just keep on going. I didn't know we had to go there. I got out with 1.57 seconds left. <sighs> hey, did you poop me out? That was a poopy sound. Oh, oh we got to go poop. Yeah. Are you, is he going to poop me out? Really? <laughs> did I just get pooped out? Well, I, I'm glad I'm free. What a banger, dude. 
absolute banger. I only died 16 lives, yo. Only 16 lives? So the newest rated hard demon platformer is Orb Dancer. You are the Orb Dancer. You must rebuild the Orb world. Orb Dancer. So people say this is a really trippy, long, crazy experience. That's cool. So hit orbs slash pads in this sequence. I'm limit three minutes, three seconds. Oh, I see. Pad, orb, pad. You have to like actually activate it. Pink orb and pad. Unlocks pink orbs and pink pads. Okay, so I unlocked it. Unlocks pink orbs and pink pads. Oh, they just unlock like everywhere in the level. That's neat. And these are all the other things that I can choose to unlock. But I got to do stuff. That is really creative. And I got to do stuff in sequence here. Oh, wow. Oh, I see. So look at this. So I got to go. It goes orb, orb, pad, orb, pad. So orb, orb, pad, orb, pad. Wait, wait, I messed it up. Oh, but you only have a certain amount of time. Oh, yeah. So orb, orb, pad, orb, pad, orb. Okay, got it. Let's see if I can buy anything with my three, though. I can unlock blue orbs. Yeah, let's just unlock it. Oh, my God. This one's wild. So it goes yellow orb, yellow orb, pink, yellow orb. And then it's like pad, orb, pad. I got it. Dude, I got it. Nice. I got six for that. That was, that's cool, dude. Dude, this level's awesome. It's like doing stunts and jump drives. Dude, this one's crazy. Like this one right here for seven currency, you need to do these combos like in the middle. So like right here, oh my God, but I'm like bouncing around everywhere. Dude, I just can't get to what I need to get. Boom, 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 boom. And, and then I need to hit it. Where's the pink? Where's the pink? Oh, the pink. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get the pink pad. It's pretty lenient actually. I got it, dude. I got it. Oh, that was a sick combo. I have 13 currency. I can probably buy a bunch of stuff now. Okay. I'm going to unlock the green orbs. And then I actually need... I need eight more. Oops. I didn't mean to unlock that. So boom, boom, boom. A uh, blue pad. Where's the green? Yeah. Boom. I need a yellow pad. And then, oh, I just had to mash the orbs. Actually, that one's not too bad. Okay. No, mash it. Oh, no. I got it. I got it. I just barely got it. Yes. <laughs> Woohoo. Let's unlock the yellow orbs, baby. Oh, okay. Let's just, we're going to unlock the uh, orange orbs. Yes. UFO traversal. That'd be nice. Spider orb and pad, green dash orb, pink dash orb, coins, gravity, slow down. Hold on time when starting a combo. Wow. Okay. So we can do this one now though. This one's complex, but I think I got it. Boom, 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 boom. Yellow orb, that, and then I need... Pink orb and then green. Ah, and then I needed just the yellow and green orbs right there. Yes, got it. Okay. Whoa, dude, that, that was a hard combo. What about here? What it says times 250? How do you hit 250 blue pads, dude? Oh, you can go up there. That's how. Yes, I got it. I just got stuck in those. And that worked. Okay. So we just want to buy a black orb. Orange, yellow, black. Orange, orange. That's easy. Orange, yellow, black. Orange, yellow, black. Orange, yellow, black. Orange, orange. God, that, that one was pretty easy. Okay. And for these other ones, we might need dash orbs and stuff. Let's go buy something else. So this one's nice. Teleport back to combo start location after failing a combo. I kind of want that. That is nice. Once we unlock all the orbs, it probably takes you to like the final section, but there's probably a bunch of like extra combos you can do. And there's probably like a bunch of hardcore ones. We can do this one though. This is 12 dash orbs. You just gotta get it so that you don't hit those black orbs and just connect with every single one. However, with two player controls, it does make it a little bit harder because I am using like one hand to jump and control myself. Okay, got it. Chill. Oh, I got it, dude. I just fluked that. I started mashing around here around these flowers and I somehow got it. That was, it was just an absolute fluke. Uh, dude, I, I thought I had that. I, I swear I hit the yellow orb at the top. Oh, you have to hit less than 15 as well. I see. That's That makes it even harder. I didn't even realize that. It's less than 15. That's why I kept on failing when I was just like mashing orbs. Oh my god, that was so hard. Okay, let's go to the beginning. Oh, let's unlock the last orb. Holy shoot. Holy shoot. Boom. Okay. All the orbs are unlocked. Let's see what happens. So at the top here in the circle, there's all these trials. It says trial one, three. Hit one orb slash pad of each type. I can't even get to the middle. There we go. I finally got to the trial. 
yellow orb where's the yellow orb i keep on bouncing out there's too much stuff around here dude like you just bounce around like so hard and there's not there, it's, it's too chaotic this level is too chaotic for me. You just need to go out of your way to get the spider pad and then everything else will just like follow. I guess kind of unless I can switch. I can't switch gravity. Oh my God, dude. There's too many orbs. Yeah, I need to get just a blue orb. Just a blue orb. How hard is it to find a blue orb out of all these orbs? I got it. I got it, dude, dude. Holy shoot, dude. That was insane. Now I got to go through trial number two, I imagine. Get four custom orbs located various locations. Oh, you can view locations. There's one over there. There's one over there, and there's one right above us. Oh, yeah, okay. And I, I hate hitting a spider, a random spider pad. Like, you're lined up where you need to go, and then you hit a spider pad, and you teleport somewhere you don't know where it is. I just... Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. This level is awesome, but also, like, highly... Like that! Why? I was up there! Oh, no. Dude, dude, dude. Dude, stop it with the spider orbs. Yeah, we need to be in here. I just... I get... God damn, dude! Got it. And the other one is right here. Okay, now we're gonna go back, I guess. I was gonna get these ones last, but that one's actually pretty tough. Okay. Ugh. Got that one. Come on, get to the blue one. Yeah, I think we got it. I mean, it would be nice if it actually activated when you got it. Okay, cool. Oh, that, that would trial tilted me so hard, dude. Traversing this is a nightmare. I love all the combos and stuff, but traversing it? Oh, dude. So hit 80 Torbs with Void orbs present you, you can just hit the same orb right oh can i guess like if you hit a bunch of void orbs like void orbs spawn when you hit the uh certain orb okay that's interesting so you can hit the orb the same orb twice essentially come on this is gonna be it how could we lose this so many orbs there okay we did it oh yeah the final trials were insane wow what a level though tell you this much this level was trippy as hell and i love doing the combos i've never experienced anything like it in geometry dash this is one of the coolest platformer levels in the game like I, I got frustrated don't get me wrong there were some frustrating parts but insane insane creativity went on here you can just tell like so much love was poured into this level this was in very very good i i blown away by it orb dancer what an experience incredible Took me a long time, holy. But guess what? I didn't die any lives, baby. Okay, so I've been having bad luck finding an insane demon platformer that will be appropriate for this challenge because the newest rated one, Linen, is like a puzzle level. Tears of Denial is like a Dark Souls style. Chaos Japan is a two-player level. My two-player controls kept on breaking and they just weren't working. And then there's the Citadel. The Citadel doesn't work because it's like getting over at level and you can't actually die. And then Crystal Caverns, I had already... Wait, why does it say zero attempts? I'd actually already played this before, just like a few attempts. So we're not going to do that. And so with the insane demons, I've had the worst luck. We're going to play this one called Evernight by Electro325. We have 103 lives. So this is a dash orb level. Oh, dude, this is like a, uh, a Celeste level. Deathless coin. Why do I? No, I don't want the deathless coin. This level was inspired by Hackophobia by Quali as well as Celeste. It's a hard demon and there's 10 checkpoints. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. We're so screwed. It's one of these levels. Can I do this in like 103 attempts or less? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Checkpoint number three. We're going back and forth now. Oh, so close, dude. No, I'm jumping so early. You go so slow there for some reason. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh my God. I wish I could see how many attempts I was on though. It's only one click here. What? Oh, I see. Oh, it's just so fast to read is the problem. It's not particularly hard actually. It's just so fast to read. I got it. I got it. I got it. I might actually beat this level, but it probably gets a lot harder because it's an insane demon. What? What? I held down the button and I just died. I just wanted a normal platforming level where I just jump and dodge spikes. I guess I do here too. Oh, well. Oh, my cheeks. Jump. That wasn't that hard. I just need to know what to do. I think I died over 100 lives just on that checkpoint though. Oh, it just keeps on going, dude. Dude, it keeps on going. It keeps on going. Old by held 
Did you liar? I think you gotta hit the dash orb like really early then. Maybe? No, no, no. Even buffering it doesn't work. I wonder if it doesn't work because of the update. That almost worked, but I had to like let go and then I started spamming jump. I did it. I did it. I did it. But I, you actually have to jump on it. It's not just a hold. You actually have to jump at the end, but it, it requires like just perfect timing. That's crazy, dude. Okay, 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 oh my god. That part felt so weird. And that just lost me the challenge, that part. This pattern seems a little awkward. Oh, that was close. Yes, I made it. I don't know if I did that right, because I felt like I lost momentum before hitting that platform, but it somehow worked. There is a kind of level like this. I wonder what the genre of levels called. Just like orb spam level? There's got to be a genre, man. Because I've played a few of them and they're awesome. But they destroy your lives. This is probably like one of the worst insane demons we could have gotten, you know? Yes. Checkpoint number nine. That was pretty fair. That one wasn't that hard at all. Hello? What am I doing? I'm doing it! I did it! I don't even know how I did it! I have no idea what I just did. What transpired and what I was doing. I was just randomly pushing the button, but I somehow did it! Last checkpoint. Well, let's do it. No! I don't know if I was near the end, but that was the furthest I've ever gotten. Come on, dude. Yes, I got it. I got it. I got it. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. What? What? Where do you go? The camera was moving all around. I couldn't see anything. No, you got to get the momentum from the orb. I see what I'm missing. That's crazy. You got to press the button so incredibly fast. I don't like how sometimes it doesn't line you up properly, though. This does feel a little bit jankier compared to some of the other ones I've played that are similar to this. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. That's got to be it. Okay. Oh my god, dude. That is wild. Uh, the level's called Stormfront. This is, it's exactly like Stormfront. Oh my god, dude. That was not a level that we wanted to get <laughs> for this challenge. I, I We did not... That ruined our day. But it is a cool level. Well, that certainly ruined my day. I gotta say, though, some parts with the momentum and everything felt a little awkward. But I guess that's why you're supposed to die over and over again until you get the exact right momentum. Because some parts just... Oh, boy. They were crazy, man. Uh, so that took me 562 attempts. So I think... I think our 103 lives are gone. So if you want to see the other levels I was considering, it was this one, Linen, which is like a puzzle level which is all just about using your brain and not about like actually, you know, platforming stuff because it, the platforming is really easy. So I was like, let's not do that. Chaos Japan is a cool level, but it had these two player controls. And every time I was playing it, my two player controls would stop working. Like right now, like my two player controls just stopped working. They just like reversed. But like, anyways, they kept on stopping work and I was dying so many lives because they would just stop working like mid level. And I was like, okay, let's jank. And then there was the Citadel, which is you don't die, which means it's just really hard, but you never die. And if you like lose, you basically fall down to the bottom. And you have to just have to do it again. And then so Evernight was really like the next possible one we could have played. And it wrecked my cheeks, bro. If you want to see this challenge again, let me know in the comments down below and I'll certainly do it. Maybe next time when I do it, we can get to the extreme. As always, guys, peace.